Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 Early Access. Now, guys, we have actually a few levels ago advanced to the point where we can go to the next lake, but I wanted you guys to get a good, really good look at Jackson County. In fact, uh, one of my friends, Jimmy, didn't even know that you could catch largemouth bass at Jackson County. I didn't either. That was just a fluke. And that's great because I, you know, now we get to see a representative of that of that species there. But we are going to go ahead and move on to. It's called Zala Zalasi Letnisko. This is, I believe, a Polish lake, and this particular lake focuses primarily on float fishing, and I'm sure feeder fishing is also in on there. Uh, you can do some lure fishing here for pike, and I don't know if there's any other species there that you can get. But let me see, pike, maybe chub would go for it, but there's a number of carp species here. You've got common, mirror carp, saison carp, grass carp, and crucian carp. So five different species of carp and European perch. They, oh yeah, European perch and asp. Well, European perch and asp will also go for lures, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to go ahead and check this lake out and see what we can do about catching some fish here. Like I said earlier, I already caught a Saison's carp uh, put in my last video. So let me go ahead and get this started. Alright guys, we are here and this is the lake. Now one of my viewers had asked me to kind of briefly touch on the different types or species of carp that are found here. Now, as I've said before, I'm not that familiar with all the species because many of them are strictly European and I usually don't fish for carp in general, but I've played enough of these games and done enough of my studies to know the differences. Um, the common carp is basically a domesticated carp. I mean, it is, yeah, it's found in the wild, but it was, it's been selected through human involvement because they used it as a food fish, especially in Asia and Europe. And we brought it here so that we would have fish that were familiar to us, basically, and that's why it became so invasive. The Saison carp is a wild version of that. It is what they were before they were domesticated. And they still exist because they basically breed and live in different areas, primarily in the Danube River. It's one of the most common locations. Uh, the grass carp is a species that uh, it's more Euro basically more Asian and it feeds primarily on plant life on the bottom of the of the lakes. They use them a lot for clearing out uh, unwanted plants and things like that. Uh, they also became quite invasive for that very reason. And the crucian carp is just a small species or of carp that is often gold in color. They all they kind of look a lot like goldfish to be honest in, in coloration. They often are golden or kind of a silvery gold and they don't get much bigger than maybe three or four pounds but I'm trying to find a good spot here. Apparently lily pads are one of the best places to fish for these guys. Now when I caught that big big Saison and I would definitely say it was the first one I ever caught. I had never even heard of it until then. I didn't know what exactly it was, but a Saison, like I said, is a wild common carp. A wild carp. Before we screwed it up, <laughs> basically. But yeah, I caught him right over here. So I think I might try again over here just to see what we can do. Now that I've upgraded my gear. Now, let me see. I've got 7.06 pound test on here. Did I do the same here? Yes I did. I caught that one on dough balls. Uh, corn is another one that's supposed to be really good. I don't know if it's available to me at the moment so I'm gonna check in the shop and see if it is. Let's see we got bait, we got dough, I bought grubs, got cheese and we yes we do have corn. Don't have peas available yet but we'll go ahead and buy the corn because I was told by one of my viewers that corn is a must. They will go for that big time. I think I bought the casters already. Now these caddisflies, 
not sure what exactly goes for that might go ahead and buy it anyway just so I have it we'll give we'll test a little bit of everything here um, I don't know if I have enough money to get a feeder rod or not but this is supposed to be a great spot for feeder rods so it looks like we've got oh yes we do we have a feeder master right here not bad I don't have it but we're gonna buy it it's free <laughs> okay let's get you reels what should we use we need something that's gonna be able to handle that and I don't think 3.97 pounds is gonna cut it guys so I'm gonna I'm probably gonna have to hold off on the feeder rods that's just that's just not gonna cut it unless there's something here now nah, I need a thousand dollars to be able to get that so not yet not yet now can I get heavier line yet 7.05 that's good I've got 7.94 oh wow I can go way up here might not be a bad idea because these fish are big 10.58 pound 10.58 pound mono that's probably the heaviest I can go and I'm gonna buy a couple of them honestly just to make sure and we're gonna upgrade this to 10.05 and see we got a really good lure I mean a really good lure we've got a really good reel for this I mean it's a little heavy for it but you just have to really watch you can break gear on this guys you can definitely break things and I was told uh, 10 out is probably preferable and I don't think I have one I have eights so we need to go back to the shop whoops and see get some hooks I don't know if there's a particular carp there might be let's see yeah carp tack let's try that got five of those we're gonna put that on our set here oh shoot did I actually purchase it or did I just click it and put an I tank on it there we go now I got it all right gotta remember to do that you just threw it in a cart kinda like you got a cart on online when you're going to Amazon and you don't actually have it until you actually purchase it alright let's go ahead and place the carp tack on there and let's try the corn because that was what I was told to use so I think we have a better bobber Bobbers, bobbers, bobbers. Rods, reels, lines, floats. There we go. Pole float, slider float, waggler, sport. Yeah, I want to get one of those fat guys. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, I want to be able to see that sucker. All right. And like I said, you can lure fish here. Not sure what you can get. Okay, we're getting a little bit of lag there, but that's probably because I just loaded things up. Let's see here. And we kind of want to go more in the middle if we can. Jesus, how far out did that go? okay I see it now yeah it's real hard to see it even with that big might want to take a look around see what's oh that was fast what do we got And he got off the hook.
Damn it. I think I might just lob this in. I'm trying to figure out if my leader is long enough. I'm not sure that it is. Well, there's plenty of fish jumping. I'm hoping you guys are picking me up all right. Sometimes my microphone plays little tricks. Ooh, it looks like a tinch. I think it is a tinch. Yes. Awesome. He's like 363. That's not too bad. We'll keep him. I think I might take my leader out a little bit now. I believe. Yeah, let's take it out to a meter. That looks that looks good. Yeah, you do that with the brackets, guys. Yeah, the plus and minus will increase your drag speed by 10. Let me show you what I mean. See, it goes 50, 60. But if you click the middle button, you can scroll it down and do it in smaller increments. I'm going to put the drag up because this is heavy, heavy line here. So we should be all right. I'm going to, I'm going to start using the corn a little bit here, and then change over to the dough balls because I would like to get another big carp. I need the cash. Apparently there's bream in here, there's roach in here. Obviously we saw the tench. Quite a few carp. There's one right down there. He's just kind of moseying around. Now I'm not sure where the grass carp will be found. But I think I have to use something totally different to get them. Not sure they go for the corn. And I think that might be a grass carp, guys. I think it is. Yep, looks like it. Yep, I think I got a grass carp, so corn does work for them. Awesome. Now, I am definitely pushing the limits on this, but I'm going to be able to get him in. Let's see what this fella looks like. Yep, he is a grass carp. Now, see... The grass carp are actually more torpedo shaped than the regular or the common carp or the Sejong carp. The, the others are kind of thick bodied. He's real lean looking and he has a small pointed head. That's not bad. I wish I could get a picture, but I can't get my snapshots to work. I'm not sure why. Hmm. We are going to keep him. Well, let's see. Let's wonder what's over on this side of things. Yeah, I was hoping to get a grass carp because I've always liked catching them on some of the other games I've played. That looks like a grass carp over there. There we go. That's a mirror carp. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. 
Yeah, the mirror carp, and I'll show you what makes them so different from the others. They're basically like a subspecies. I don't know if they're a subspecies. They are a separate species, but they're very closely related to the common carp. But, oh, are you kidding me? I broke my rod. Oh, no. Holy crap. That's not good. That's not good. Look at my rod. It's all messed up. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, how much does it kind of cost to repair? Oh, nothing. I'm going to see what I have to do to fix this thing. I don't know if it can be fixed, but now I just learned a lesson. <laughs> you got to watch the gotta watch what it does to it apparently it's 2.49 pound float it's not very not very strong definitely need a bigger bigger rod there all right guys I am back yeah I went ahead and got rid of that rod I mean that was a free rod anyway it's not like it was gonna you know destroy me or anything but I went ahead and purchased a much better rod, a much bigger one. Let me make that says the set is complete. Let's see, what are we missing? Oh yeah, we gotta get all this together. We're gonna put this back on. And we're gonna put some floats on there. And the claw hook. And I think we're gonna go with dough balls this time. And it's still incomplete. What am I missing here? Floats, clothes. Yeah, basically I put on a nine. I got a 9.92 pound reel, 9.84 uh, float rod, and 10.58 pound line. Liters 11.02. We're good, honestly. Not sure why it says it's incomplete though. I think it's a bug, honestly. Let's see. Yeah, see, now it's working. I don't know what the deal is with that. But we're going to try this again. And this time I'm going to take the drag down. That way we won't run into that same problem. Also, don't, re don't forget to close the your reel. That can be a problem, too. you got to hit the left button to get that going. Now, we've got more of a chance of getting carp with this. It looks like a heap, probably more like corn. There's a mirror carp. I wish I'd been able to bring that mirror carp in. That would have been nice. There we go. I think that's got us another tinch, though. Yep, we got us another tinch. Yeah, this rod can handle a lot easier. He's a much bigger one than the last one, 3.09 pounds. I think I'm going to go back to the corn, guys, just to see if I... Now, there's cheese would definitely get the tinch. But I really want, let's see, where is our, okay, the float depth is still the same, just making sure that didn't change. Yeah, Jimmy said you could break the broads in here. <laughs> you got to be careful. I was thinking that rod was a lot heavier than that, because the reel is so heavy, and a lot, you know, once the, with the reels being so heavy, I assumed the the rod was too, but it was only 2.49 pound test. So yeah, the fish definitely would have snapped it. Ah, duck feet. <laughs> Can't tell if he's semi-interested or what. I think that's another grass carp, or maybe a tench. It's hard to tell from this angle. Uh, 
That's a grass carp. Yeah, I'm going to do this a little bit more underwater this time so we can kind of get a real good view of it. But There we go. Another grass carp, $5.11. Nice, 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 nice. Well, let me put this away. I'm going to see if we can go to another part of the map. As toad three is a good position to try. Now, what for? I couldn't tell you. Just that it was a good position. It's like throw towards the lilies. Well, there's lilies over there, and there's lilies over there. So let's try. Let's try over here. see what we got swimming around in here. Just to see. Okay, sockeye and yellow perch. Well, we're not going to get sockeye salmon here. I have to go back to the other lake to complete that one. Uh, that what is that? Is that a barbel? I think it is. Thought I saw whiskers on him. Now, if you want to get your line in real quick, guys, just go out to the, you know, the main view right here. If you hit Q, make sure the the bail's closed. It's back. So you can get that back real quick if you so desire. I'm going to try over here by that tree. Now that looks like a crucian carp there. I don't know if there's, this is the right lilies, but I really wish I could do feeders right now, but I'm, I haven't got to a high enough level just yet. Feeder rod would be so much better because I see a lot of them down there on the bottom. I might go ahead and see what else we can try here, guys. How did I get all this corn? <laughs> all right, cat. We got casters. That's definitely going to go for the the roach and cheese and caddisflies. Well, we could try the caddisfly and see what it does. I haven't tried it yet. Hello, fish. That looks like a bream. Brim. Bream, brim, whatever. He's not interested. It's like, nah, not my cup of tea. Yeah, I'm not getting really any takers off of this. I think I might try up here. There is a dock. That's a good spot right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice big lily pads. Lots of cover. Let's change this some, to something else. Something a little more enticing. We'll throw it right by those lily pads. 
Well, that was kind of a crappy cast, but maybe all right. Not sure if it's out far enough though. Yeah, there's some there's some fish around there. I can see below there. Now there's a pike. Okay, we found the pike. That's good. That's something I want to catch for sure, guys. He's not going to be interested in this at all, but... but he is. Another tench. I think he's one of the bigger ones I've caught, too. Oh, he got off. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I thought he got off there. Oh, nice. New personal record. $15. 7.01 pounds. That's a nice tench. Got him off the dough balls. Well, I have got to try this now. I have got to switch over. Why is this not... Ugh. There we go. Couldn't get it to switch rods. That was really strange. Okay, let's try something I know they can't resist. Let's try one of these spoons. And he was right out there. That's a good cast. Lots of cover. We're going to let this drop a little bit just so that we... aren't skimming the surface there. There is more than one species that will go for this type of lure. I know that the perch will definitely go for it. I think chubs will too, and I know asp will do it too, but I think asp really like the top water lures. But we're going to see if we can get us a pike. Yeah, so far, not so much. Whoa! Last minute. Jeez. There we go. <laughs> nice. Northern Pike, our first one, guys. 2731. That's what I was hoping to get. He literally just... I was pulling out of the water and he jumped on it. Check it out. Awesome. That's what I wanted. Well, that was the right lure to choose, that's for sure. At least one of them. Ah, got hooked on the ground. There we go. Still saying it, but we're fine now. Let's let it drop a little bit, though, first. Well, I didn't get that mirror carp, and what I wanted to show you guys was that they have the they have really large, what they call mirror-like scales, on their bodies, usually along their dorsal side and along their midsection. Definitely sets them off from the regular commons. My speed might be too high. Let's try taking it down a little bit. Alright. I also think I might try another lure. 
Let's see if they do anything with this. I mean, the pickerel really liked it, so maybe they will too. I need my speed to go up a little bit, though. Let's try f 16. Take the drag down to about 42. Yeah, they say in the tutorial 10 for your speed, but that's kind of slow, really. And this seems to be falling a lot faster now than they were before. That's good. Maybe that's something they fixed, because it was going... It would, it would sink way too slow. It's just about the right speed, too. It keeps it just off the bottom. And I think I see a pike over there, too. And there's a mirror carp, guys. See the scales? Wish I knew where he was. Definitely a lot of fish here. Fortunately, most of them are not going to go for lures. He is. Boom! <sighs> nice little perch. Ooh, and he's a, he's a new personal record European perch. 485, 2.81 pounds. I see they're a little bit bluish in coloration, unlike the yellow perch. That's a nice little fish. Yeah, we'll keep him too. So they are here. European perch are here anyway. They love these lures, I tell you. That orange one that they give you in the beginning is real good for here, from what I've been told as well. Just not sure what the barbell are going to go for. They might go for the cheese. Damn! Now what is that? I wonder if this is an asp. He's not big. Yep, it is an asp. Perfect. Unfortunately, he's not very big. <laughs> I mean, look how tiny he is. Little bitty fella. But they can get big. Really big. Now he's just a baby. I'm kind of curious to see what I can get with this. This Robinson Basic K017G. I know it is popular with the smallmouth bass. Let's see what it's popular with here, if anything. Oh yeah, it's sinking so much better now. It used to take forever. Now we've got quite a few carp here. I'm gonna have to get the corn back out. That seems to be the best... the best bait to use for the carp. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting really any takers off of that, so I think I'm going to switch back over to this. And I am going to put corn on here. And we're going to try tossing that right around where that log is. Ooh. 
really like to get a mirror carp for you guys to see. Now there's a carp over there, but he's just kind of moseying along. Boom! There we go. I think we got us a brim. Bream. Brim. I think that's what this is. So there's another new species to mark off. There we go. Common bream. Brim. 6.75 cash. 4.13 pounds. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, see, that's a decent fish. So that's what I've been seeing out there. I thought they might be in Crucian Carp. So that's common bream. Might want to check my net. I'm thinking I might be getting a little full here. Let's see. We're fishing net. That's not too bad. Eighty-eight sixty-five cash. Not too bad. We'll go ahead and sell them. That'll get our money levels up a little bit. Really like to get some of those bigger carp, though. That's the thing. It's hard not to play this game, guys. This game is really, really addictive. And I've been told once you get to the Keel Canal, that's a whole game changer. That's when everything starts to really bump up as far as how much you catch and how much money you make. There we go, and I think that... Ah! He got off! Damn it! God, that pisses me off when that happens. Sorry. <laughs> I mean a curse there, but it's frustrating. That was a barbel. I really wanted to pull that one in, too. Shoot. He got right off of there. And I hooked him. I guess he just didn't have it well enough. Well, I now know the barb will go for corn. That's a good idea. I know, I'm pretty sure they'll go for cheese, too. Other than that, I'm not sure. I mean... Probably worms. There we go. I think that is a barbell, guys. I think we got us a barbell. Yes! See his whiskers? Yeah, they're real long, cylindrical, torpedo shaped, and they got those whiskers, the barbells, and they're so, so named. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. <sighs> There we go. There's a little guy. He's not very big. He's only 2.24 pounds, but $12.43. It's not too bad. And apparently I completed something. Let's see here. Yep, hump catch as many fish of a good in species. Is that what it was? Need to catch 3.31 pounds of a single species of fish, yellow perch. And 8.82 pounds of a single species of fish sockeye salmon. Well, I'm not going to get the sockeye salmon here, unfortunately. But well, let's see. Is there anywhere else? Shoot. Anywhere else on this map that we could try out? I'd say I'm over here. Let's see what's up one. This might be a good spot to see if we can't get some of those... European perch. A lot of cover here. And I think I'm going to put. Let's see. We're going to switch this. This. 
They like this lure a lot. And we'll see if there's any yellow per or I keep wanting to call them yellow perch. European perch out here. There's not a whole lot of difference between yellow and European. I think the European perch get bigger. And I think their color is better. Yellow perch is just that, a kind of a yellow, yellow green. I think the European ones are prettier. I'll tell you one thing though, they are awesome for food. <laughs> Excellent eating. They're all in the walleye family. Not anything to be interested. In. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, I'd like to get that quest done. One point six seven. How much do we need? Ah. Uh. He's got to be 3.31 pounds. Hmm. That's kind of big. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of big. We're gonna. It's gonna be a challenge. There we go. Boom. And they are definitely to be found here. 3.31 pounds. Come on. How big are you? 3.3.08. Damn, so close. So close. Hmm. Five dollars and fifty-two cents, or thirty-two cents. Well, if I'm going to get them, I'm going to get them right here. That's for sure. And that lure is working perfectly. Well, guys, I just keep playing. It's just so, like I said, this game is so, so very addicting. No problem. Keep playing with this and playing with this. We can go through here and check the different locations. Now, this is this is kind of cool looking. Got some big old lily pads there. There's the cover that we were fishing for the pike. I bet there's more cover over here for pike too. Before we leave here, guys, we're gonna try one more time. We're gonna switch this off. I think I'm gonna try the gold one this time. Maybe there'll be some pike over here, cause this is. This is a good spot for Pike. Lots of good cover for him. We need to. The speed's good, about 20. Yeah, with all the carp there, you're just gonna have to go to full fishing. There we go. There we go. And it's a it's a common brain, I can tell. That's a good way to end this. Hey, nice fighter too. There we go. Another personal record. 6.87 cash, 4.20 pounds. There he is. Nice little fish. Nothing, no monsters this time, guys. Not like I did in the last time, but hopefully I can pull it off again. I'm going to keep fishing here for a while. See if I can get some bigger carps. 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Now, I have heard rumors that they might be re-leveling things, guys. I don't know if that's going to be the case. But if that is, it basically means we got to start over. It, <coughs> Jimmy is checking on that, but I, it is a rumor. If it happens, it's not going to tear me up totally because then I'll be able to catch up to Jimmy a lot easier. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.